Hello friends, my name is Rizal Masood. Today we will discuss about the topic Benefit Management Plan. Friend, today's topic has been taken from the PMBOK Project Management Body of Knowledge and uh, this is the topic from Project Management. And uh, friend, if you are a student and studying Project Management in university or you are planning to give exam of PMP, so friend, this is a very important topic and in the exam you will see this topic. At least uh, 4 to 5 questions will be there in the exam in which your concept related to benefit management plan will be judged. Also friend, if you are a professional project manager and working in any organization as a professional project manager, so again this is necessary for you to understand and implement the concept of uh, benefit management plan and you must have to know that how to use and how to use the uh, benefits how to use the concept of benefit management plan in the uh, practical and implemented life of project management <coughs> so friend let's start first of all I would request to please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you so let's start benefit management plan <coughs> First of all friends see the whole video whole topic we will discuss with reference to project management. Friend, uh, Whenever we are initiating a project so there is some cause there is some uh, reason behind it. there is some business case behind uh, the initiating of a project. Like for example just take an example here uh, the bank want to implement a mobile application through which customers can do the fund transfer and uh, interbank fund transfer transactions. So now friend, uh, this is a project that launching of mobile application for a bank. Now friend, why bank needs this such type of mobile application and what are the benefits which will be get by the customers or by, cust or by, the, uh, by the vendor or by the uh, by the bank actually let me give you some simple example once the project has been launched uh, by the mobile application like uh, once the customer will start using the mobile application like they are downloading the application from play store or app store and they can do the payments uh, through the fund transfer IBFT so one advantage bank is that is having is that uh, their manual working will uh, reduce like people don't need to go on the uh, physically they don't need to go on the bank side and they don't need to do the trade transactions through uh, filling the forms etc they just download the applications from the app store or uh, google store and they can start transaction uh, transacting the uh, amount for f fund transfer or ibft etc so their manual working will reduce the customer uh, base will increase the transaction base will increase so there are so many benefits when uh, they will the bank will get once the such type of mobile application launched officially on production so these are some few examples of benefits so basically friend benefit management plan basically it talks about it described that how the benefits of the project will be delivered and when they will be delivered the purpose of undertaking any project is to provide some type of benefit as a result of delivering the product of the project basically friend the benefit management plan tells you that uh, how the benefits will be delivered to the relevant stakeholders and what and when it will be delivered basically <coughs> another example like for example you are a constructor and you are building a flyover in a city okay this is your project to build a flyover in a city so now what are the benefits which you will uh, which you can say as a benefit management plan you can tell first of all uh, the uh, quantum of traffic will reduce when the flyover will be built on any particular location so due to that reason the pressure or the quantum of traffic will reduce and people can uh, go through easily from any particular route or any particular location once the flyover will be built there so this is the uh, and after after one year uh, this benefit will people will get also the other thing is that uh, 
other thing is that uh, once the flower will be built we have some uh, space there and we can use it for some other purpose of governments as well so friend uh, such types of benefits you can describe you can pr provide that after one year now uh, after one year building of the uh, flyover the pressure traffic uh, can be reduced and people can easily go through from any from location a to location b after building of flyover so these are the benefits which will be get after building of flyovers so friend uh, benefit management plans tells you that what are the benefits you will get after implementation of project and when you will get those benefits so friend uh, this is very necessary that uh, as a project manager you must have to know that whenever whatever the project you are building whatever the project you are implementing so what are the benefits which you will uh, deliver to the customer and when you will deliver it okay so this is the concept of benefit management plan benefit management plan basically describe how the benefits of the project will be delivered and when it will be delivered okay like like you are implementing e-commerce solution for a for for a vendor for example for a customer so uh, if you are implementing e-commerce solution for a customer so what are the benefits they will get and when they will get okay so this is called as the concept of benefit management plan now uh, what should be included in the benefit management plan friend uh, just think of benefit management plan as a word document in which you are basically describing that once we deliver once we complete the project so what are the benefits we will get and when when it will get so first of all the description of benefit that is expected to be delivered like you are describing that these are the benefits we will be getting once the project will be lived or uh, gone on production second thing is that the schedule for delivering the like after one year after five years after four years we will get those benefits okay so you are describing that what are the benefits and when these benefits will be delivered to the uh, relevant stakeholders the honor of the benefits who are the honor of the benefits like for example uh, any particular uh, person for example once we uh, launch the ATM solutions uh, for uh, for the senior citizens like for example just take an example here uh, for senior citizens so the persons who are having age more than 40 years they will get so and so on uh, benefits okay so we are telling that first of all we have to tell that what are the benefits then when these those benefits will be delivered and then the next is who are the owner of the benefits who like who will get those benefits actually how the benefit will be measured along uh, including baseline measures if appropriate like there should be some measurement as well there should be some measurement with the baseline from baseline means friend for example we are saying that any particular like abc customer will get for example one thousand dollar benefit he will get after after two years for example this is your baseline so you can say this is your baseline that after two years one thousand dollar benefit should be delivered this is your baseline so after so you can compare the actual benefit with the planned benefit as well so this is and so the baseline should also be clearly defined that what is your baseline on what basis you will measure that either you are getting the right or the proper benefit or not assumption and risk considered in determining the benefit friend assumption and the risk should also be properly defined assumption means friend anything which you are expecting I remember friend one thing that assumption can be true or false as well however the assumptions should be clearly defined in the project and the risk related to the benefit should also be defined like for example you are saying for example you are saying that after one year uh, this benefit will be delivered however there is some risk in delivering of that particular risk is that for uh, ABC for one two three so you have to clearly define the assumptions assumptions mean the uh, the the approach which you are thinking like 
for example uh, you are thinking that this is the uh, assumption here however assumption can be true or false as well also you are whatever the risk you are expecting in delivering of benefit you should have to clearly define it remember friend one thing that risk can be positive or risk can be negative as well so friend thank you thanks a lot for your time and uh, that's all from my side i hope you like this video if you like please share it with your friends and colleagues and thank you thanks a lot for your time thank you